Some big news coming in from Bhutan, where the party of Bhutan's former Prime Minister, Shering Topge, won general elections with nearly two-thirds of seats in Parliament. Local media shared the numbers based on preliminary results from each constituency. Now, there was no immediate confirmation from the Election Commission, which is expected to release final results on Wednesday. The elections have been dominated by serious economic challenges that call into question the Himalayan Kingdom's long-standing policy to prioritize cross-national happiness over growth. Some voters had to trek for days to cast their votes in the landlocked mountainous nation of just 800,000 people. Korea civil servant Pema Chiawang, who is the leader of the Bhutan Tendril Party or the BTP, was running for the Prime Minister against former Prime Minister and People's Democratic Party chief Shering Togbe. Both parties had pledged a huge ramp-up of investment in hydropower, which is the Himalayan nation's primary source of energy. Bhutan's economy will be the main challenge for the new government. World Bank data says that Bhutan's youth unemployment rate is at a staggering 29%, while economic growth has sputtered along at an average of just 1.7% over the past five years. Young Bhutanese searching for better financial and educational opportunities abroad have left in record numbers since the last elections, with Australia as their top destination. Tourism, which makes a small share of Bhutan's economy, but is a key earner of foreign currency, is yet to recover from the disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The previous government pursued several projects to diversify the economy, including a special economic zone on the Indian border and plans to raise funds for a cryptocurrency mining scheme. Bhutan held elections for the first time in 2008 after political reforms established a parliament soon after the start of the reign of the present king, who remains hugely popular. Poll campaigns in the Buddhist majority nation have always been subdued, with strict rules mandating that election materials can only be posted on public notice boards. Bhutan lies between the globe's two most populous countries, China and India, who are watching with keen interest from across the strategic border zones.